Welcome to the channel. This is Brian, Drones Unlimited. So we're looking at an octocopter that is to carry a hologram. Now this is completely custom, or most of it is. And what you're looking at is something you've probably never seen before. These goodies underneath here are what's gonna power the hologram. So we're using a 3S 5000 milliamp hour battery, um, an AC-DC converter. And that would run the hologram for about uh, 50 minutes or so, 55 minutes. Um, the drone itself can only fly about 10 minutes with this payload. But what you're looking at today is the first flight of this setup. Um, I've flown this thing with strings. It didn't work out so well. So now I fixed mounted the hologram below the drone. The only thing missing is the hologram itself. So this is the whole payload minus um, a small hologram. Now what you're looking at is a heart attack that I was having behind the camera. And I realized I need to change the sequence of when these motors power up. Um, you can. This is a DJI A3 um, system inside of this drone. So. I can plug this into the computer and what you saw was each motor fired up individually in a sequence. What I need to do because of the um, shock absorber and the landing gear, I need the motors to start at the same time so it doesn't do that crazy roll you just seen. Now the drone for the first time is picking up this madness and uh, I'm literally behind the camera holding the sticks and I am shaking. <laughs> I am shaking watching this happen, and uh, frankly, this is, to me, this is this is amazing. This is incredible. I think it's the beginning of what drones are going to be doing in the future. I think you're going to see a lot of autonomous drones that are going to carry some sort of ad, whether it's a uh, L LCD TV, a hologram, a banner. Uh, I think drones are going to be doing this in the future quite consistently. But the, the what you're looking at is one of the first hologram drones to be flown and uh, the goal is to make money with it let's see how much we can charge people for such a thing now right now I'm flying the drone you know what one or two feet off the ground just in case something decides to go crazy I'm hoping my mounts and everything is solid um, and of course I need to record this with the camera and I'm sharing it with you so if this thing crashes or anything crazy happens I can go back look at the footage and make sure um, I can fix any of my, my mistakes as long as I don't break the drone. But as of now, it seems to be flying pretty good. Uh, I was extremely nervous flying this setup. And like I said earlier, the only thing missing is the hologram. So this is the full payload minus the little hologram bolt right onto this setup. And uh, I didn't want to risk the hologram because that hologram is about $600. Um, but what you see is the mount the uh, LiPo battery, the AC-DC converter, and then the plug itself that comes with the hologram. And uh, my goal here was to make sure that the drone can carry the payload and uh, hopefully do it safely. And another troubling aspect of this setup is it needs to land. So landing and taking off is extremely important. It's just as important as the drone flying is itself. So when I bring this drone down, I need to make sure even with the flimsy shock absorber, it needs to be able to land without something breaking. So I'm being very gentle flying this a few feet off the ground. Um, worst case scenario, it'll flip over, it could hit the ground, but um, you know, I guess the worst that could happen is I could snap an arm or two, maybe it'll lose a motor, um, and then the rest I'll have to salvage. But right now I'm testing. I think this is a successful test flight, and um, I'm actually extremely satisfied with what we got. So the next flight is gonna have the hologram attached, and uh, I might need to pray to something because this scares the heck out of me doing this. So that's all we got. Thanks for watching.